The head of NASA confirms 3I Atlas is not natural and the alien object now moving closer to Earth. Our solar system just got knocked sideways, literally. A new visitor, an interstellar comet designated 3I Atlas, has tipped the scales at an absolutely staggering 33 billion tons. Think about that for a second. That's not just heavy, that's three times the mass of every single human alive on Earth, every truck, every building, every ant, every grain of sand you can imagine, all combined. And the wildest part? It's from another star system entirely. Are you ready to dive into how something that heavy, something so profoundly out of place, managed to get loose and drift between the galaxies only to stumble into our cosmic neighborhood? This video is sponsored by Upstream. Want to grow your YouTube channel faster? With Upstream, you can run a 24-7 live stream using your pre-recorded videos. Since live streams rank higher in search, you'll gain more views, more subscribers, and more revenue. And it's not just YouTube. Upstream lets you multi-stream to up to 10 platforms, design custom layouts that match your brand, and schedule your content so your channel is live even when you're not. Sign up free today with the link in the description, and if you decide to upgrade, you'll get 20% off your first month. Start streaming smarter with Upstream. In July 2025, the robotic Atlas survey, perched high on the volcanic slopes of Hawaii, spotted a fuzzy, faint dot racing up from the southern sky. It wasn't long before the initial orbital calculations started coming in, and that's when things began to look wrong, really wrong. The path this object was tracing was a perfect hyperbola, meaning it was moving far too fast for the sun's gravity to ever capture it. Translation, this wasn't ours. By midnight, the Minor Planet Center had officially stamped it 3I Atlas, confirming it as only the third interstellar object ever definitively identified. The astronomical community, fueled by copious amounts of coffee, immediately canceled vacations, rescheduled observations, and started ringing every major telescope facility on the planet. This wasn't just another comet, this was a cosmic anomaly demanding immediate global attention. So, how exactly do you weigh something you can't even put on a scale? It's not like we can send a cosmic truck stop to intercept it. The trick, in essence, is to bake it with sunlight and then carefully watch how fast it wiggles. The comet's surface, reflecting about 4% of incoming light, is as black as coal or maybe even darker than a fresh asphalt road. But its sheer mass still exerts a subtle gravitational tug on the glowing gas and dust that surrounds it forming its coma. Radio antennas, with their incredible precision, were able to measure that faint gravitational tug. The data from the dust curve, the way the particles were distributed and moving, required exactly 33 billion kilograms of rock and ice to make sense. To put that into perspective, the previous record holder for an interstellar comet, Borisov, weighed maybe a tenth as much. And for even a more relatable comparison, Mount Everest, that colossal peak we all know, weighs in at about 30 billion tons. So Atlas is, quite literally, an Everest-sized chunk of alien material on a joyride through space. It's a number that defies intuition, too large for a typical comet, too massive to feel fragile. We associate that kind of weight with moons, not with loosely bound snowballs. And yet, here it is, drifting silently through our system, brighter than expected, heavier than anything we've ever tracked from beyond the stars. Now, point a spectrograph at most comets in our own solar system, and you'll typically see signatures of carbon, oxygen, maybe a dash of nickel if you squint really hard. But Atlas? Atlas screamed nickel, hard. It was a strong, undeniable signal. Yet iron, the far more common metallic partner that usually accompanies nickel in space, never showed up. That's like finding a bag of chocolate chips without a single cookie in sight. It just doesn't make sense in our usual cosmic recipes. Even weirder, its light is polarized backwards. Negative polarization usually indicates the presence of metal shards or razor-sharp dust particles, all aligned like tiny microscopic mirrors. Add to this the baffling observation of a jet of material that squirts ahead of the nucleus instead of trailing behind it, and you have a cosmic rulebook in flames. One researcher with a wry sense of humor joked that the comet must have read the wrong manual entirely. This isn't just an oddity, it's a fundamental challenge to our understanding of cometary chemistry and behavior. So how exactly do you forge a seven-mile chunk of nickel-rich ice and then fling it with such force that it travels between stars? 
Astronomers have two leading ideas, both involving violence on a scale we Earthlings can barely comprehend. Option one, it formed in the inner chaos of a newborn planetary system. Imagine a young star surrounded by a swirling disk of gas and dust. Within this disk, giant planets are forming and migrating like cosmic wrecking balls. As they move, they sling colossal amounts of rubble, rocks, ice, dust, outward. Occasionally, that rubble gains enough speed to escape the star's gravitational pull entirely, becoming an interstellar wanderer. Option two, Atlas is a fragment of a shredded super-Earth. Picture a water world, perhaps bigger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune, spiraling too close to its own sun. The immense tidal forces would rip it apart, tearing its outer layers into vast clouds of debris. In the cold vacuum of space, these outer layers would then freeze solid, and the gravitational shrapnel, including chunks like Atlas, would ricochet across the galaxy, carrying the scars of its violent birth. Either story requires a level of cosmic cataclysm that reminds us how dynamic and brutal the universe can be. Let's talk density, because that's where things get even more intriguing. Early reports, based on its brightness and the amount of material it was shedding, guessed the nucleus could be up to 11 kilometers across. However, the exact amount of sunlight it reflects combined with its mass suggests it's probably closer to 5 kilometers. Now, pack 33 billion tons into a volume just 5 kilometers across, and what do you get? Roughly half the density of solid ice. This isn't a solid, monolithic chunk. This translates to an interior that's laced with voids, pockets of frozen gases like carbon monoxide, and perhaps even larger boulders embedded within its structure. Think of it as frozen Swiss cheese, but instead of delicious dairy, it's wrapped in a thick, coal-black layer of dust. If you somehow managed to stand on the surface of Atlas, you'd weigh about as much as a slice of bread, but the ground beneath your feet would be darker than printer coner and colder than liquid nitrogen, a truly alien and unforgiving landscape. Short answer? No. Absolutely not. Atlas is on a clear, hyperbolic trajectory that'll take it just inside Saturn's orbit in December 2025. It'll absorb a little solar tan from our sun, slingshot around, and then head back out into the abyss, never to be seen by human eyes again. Long answer, it's a profound wake-up call. The fact that something this incredibly massive, this significant, could stroll undetected until just two months before its closest approach to our inner solar system highlights just how blind we still are to the true cosmic traffic around us. This incident has galvanized space agencies worldwide, pushing for the development of dedicated interstellar early warning telescopes. Think of them as cosmic traffic cameras for freight trains designed to spot these massive silent visitors long before they get anywhere near us. For every Everest-sized visitor like Atlas, models suggest there are hundreds, if not thousands, of smaller shards of other star systems out there. And we're about to get a much better look. The Rubin Observatory in Chile, a groundbreaking facility set to begin full operations in 2026, will photograph the entire observable sky every three nights. Statisticians predict that once Rubin is fully online, we'll catch at least one new interstellar object per year. Some could be as small as a suitcase, others potentially even bigger than Atlas. Each one of these objects is a free sample of someone else's solar system, a pristine ancient piece of another star's history delivered right to our doorstep. No expensive, decades-long probe mission required. They are cosmic time capsules, waiting to be studied. Let's circle back to that chemical oddity, nickel without iron. In our own solar system, nickel almost always rides along with iron in metal-rich asteroids and planetary cores. Cosmochemists are wrestling with a few explanations. One leading theory suggests a process called fractionation. This would involve scorching temperatures and perfectly aligned magnetic fields within a protoplanetary disk, somehow pulling nickel vapor away from iron early in the system's formation. It's a complex dance of physics and chemistry. Another camp argues that the nickel signature isn't native to the comet's bulk at all. Instead, they propose that sunlight could be vaporizing a thin coating, a vapor-deposited layer that accumulated on the comet's surface during its million-year journey through interstellar space. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled infrared vision, has been awarded discretionary time to stare at Atlas for eight full hours. 
those precious spectra will be crucial, potentially deciding whether our chemistry textbooks need a brand new chapter on interstellar object formation. Because Atlas was ejected from another system, not born here, its isotopic ratios preserved the clock of a distant ancient star. Measuring the ratio of deuterium to hydrogen, for example, tells us the water within this comet formed at least 8 billion years ago. That's twice the age of Earth's own oceans. If these readings hold true, this comet isn't just a visitor, it's a relic from a time when the Milky Way galaxy was still actively assembling its majestic spiral arms. We're essentially holding a snowball, a cosmic fossil, from the very dawn of galaxies. It's a tangible piece of cosmic history, offering a glimpse into conditions that existed long before our own sun was even a glimmer in the galactic dust. Whenever something breaks records, whenever an anomaly like 3 Eye Atlas appears, speculation mushrooms online. Could the forward-pointing jet be some kind of engine? Could the negative polarization be highly polished hull plating from an alien craft? Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, who famously suggested Oumuamua might be artificial, points out that Atlas's forward jet does bear a superficial resemblance to solar sail behavior a propulsion method theorized for interstellar travel. However, every calculation so far still fits within the realm of natural phenomena, primarily volatile ice warming unevenly in sunlight. The scientific consensus, for now, leans heavily towards a natural explanation, yet the door stays cracked open, even if only slightly, until better data arrives. Science at its best is comfortable with uncertainty, willing to explore all possibilities. YouTube comment sections, as we all know, are often less so. This tension between rigorous scientific inquiry and the boundless human imagination is part of what makes these discoveries so compelling. Between now and December, observatories on every continent have queued target of opportunity slots, redirecting their powerful instruments to focus on Atlas. The Very Large Ray, a colossal radio telescope in New Mexico, will listen for reflected radio whispers, probing its internal structure. New Horizons, now deep in the Kuiper Belt, will image the coma from a vantage point humans won't match for centuries, offering a unique perspective. Even amateur astronomers with 8-inch telescopes can hunt it. The comet should brighten to 14th magnitude, visible under dark skies with a good camera. Citizen science alerts are already flooding Discord servers and online forums, galvanizing a global community of stargazers. This is a rare, fleeting opportunity for humanity to collectively observe a messenger from another star, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge in real time. 33 billion tons of alien ice and rock just paid us a fleeting silent visit. It smells of nickel, spits gas forward, and hails from a star system we'll never meet. Atlas proves unequivocally that the space between suns is far from empty, crowded instead with giants, each carrying passports stamped by distant worlds. We were incredibly lucky to spot this one. Next time, we might not be. So keep looking up, stay curious, and remember, somewhere in the dark, a snowball, older than Earth, a relic from the dawn of galaxies, might already be on its way, carrying secrets we can only begin to imagine. Soon, it'll be gone. That's all that I can say. When something about this comet seems different to me, that something makes us uneasy. What does all of this make you wonder? All of all of you, what does 3i Atlas make you feel?